clear skies over Petco Park in San Diego. Today, it's game two of a three-game weekend. Now at the plate, Corey Spangenberg. He'll lead things Leading off here in the bottom half of the first. He's Royals Harold Reynolds entering play here this afternoon. They run a nice little run, winners of four of their last five ball games. Well, they won their game last night. I think that's a big sign. They're starting to play good baseball. I talked to the manager. He loves how they compete. Revere moves over near the line as he puts it away for the first out of the inning. For the moment here in downtown San Diego, we'll look at the Padres' starting lineup. How do they get back into the win column here, Harold? I'll tell you what, this is one of those Batting pitchers' second. parks. You come in, you Center go, uh-oh, I could be 0 for 15 well, if I don't Margo. execute. And how do you execute in a pitcher's park? You throw you outside, take that base hit to right field. Don't try to do too much. You do what he gives you, you take what he gives you, and you move on. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curve there, and that's out number two. Batting third. First baseman. Will Myers Will is in with two away Myers. as he takes a ball, 1-0. Myers awaiting the 1 0. Way out in front. Hey, we got two two out, nobody on. And that pitch catches the inside corner. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. I got it. Me, Nick. Revere will get there and he puts it away to retire the. Striding in, number 41. Yes, he'll get his campaign at the plate started right here. Here comes the first pitch. Swinging a soft liner in there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, this is not what they expected when they called for the interleague games. You thought the National League pitchers would be getting a hit. Here's an American League pitcher getting a hit. Here's Ben Revere, career batting the line versus Christian Friedrich. Ben Four hits Revere. in 20 at-bats. He's Here also go. gone down on strikes five times. Hit weakly back to the mound. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. But the recovery throw will be in time to first. A good job that time. will settle for just the one. Hey, no one down here. Leading off for the Padres. Alex Murillo is in Alex to start things Will. off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. 1-0. Oh. Go. Got him right to now, swing Dallas. at a pitch below the knees. 1-1. One one. A swing and a miss at a ball down. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Royals. And I'm looking down there at Brandon Belt. Belt. You know, this guy has really right. solidified himself Where? in the middle of the Giants' order. You weren't sure how he was going to hit. But one thing you did know, he was going to be able to defend. And that defense is one of the best in the league because of Brandon Belt. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Tough one to lay off, hey, called a strike. One, one out, nobody on. Grounded to the right, fielded cleanly by Belt. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Into the box now. Sergio Santos. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Come on now. The pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. To two and two now. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. So they breeze th Back now with baseball on the show. At the plate, Hunter Renfro. He brings a rather ugly 230s batting average into this one. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Just a bit jumpy that time, swung on and missed. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. Now a ball line foul as that's in the seats over the Padre dugout. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2 and 2. 
Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Wow, this guy's mowing right through this lineup right now, but that's what happens when you don't get a chance to see a pitcher very often. That's one of the things that are helpful when you're pitching in interleague games. It's always a good advantage for the pitcher because the hitters don't get to see that guy very often. In now, Luis Sardinius. Gordon is there. I got it. I got it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Striding into the box, Christian Friedrich. This guy's still Hector. looking at a zero oh, in the hit column. Friedrich. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Oh. Oh, and he falls there. behind now, 2-0. Oh. Tell you what, pitching to the pitcher is not that easy. Sometimes when you face him, a little bit of a letdown. He's in a 2-0 -oh count right now. You got to really focus, I think, more so with the pitcher hitting against you than anybody. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. Three up, three down. Digging in to try it again. Corey Spangenberg. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. And the Friars are into the hit call. No runner, no runner. Eat it, eat it. Well, you make in game adjustments, right, Matt? I mean, they've had a hard time scoring. Right here, he jumps on the first pitch to get things going. So I see a little bit of a change. Maybe this is how they jump start their offense for the rest of the game. Flip to the second baseman covering now for the out. So striding in, Will Myers, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Oh, and he was fooled that time on the pitch away as he went around for strike two. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. Ready for another chance. Alex Murillo, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Mario. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. and Slider stayed too low, ball two. Well, he's got a base open to use right here, and it looks like he might not be afraid to do that by the way he's pitching him. That's a nice pitch right there. He threw him a breaking ball, comes back with a fastball, and now he's late. Now he doesn't know how to adjust. He's kind of caught in between. You got him set up perfectly. Pause, now the pitch. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. More baseball from downtown San Diego. Striding in once again, number 41. He'll start off the fifth in this one. Line to the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch, and it's early trouble here this half of the inning. Well, he's pitching well. They send him back up to the plate, and what does he do? He rewards him with a base hit. So this is a great game for him so far. Ready once again, Ben Revere. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Ben Revere. Working for the punch out and the offering down the third baseline. And there's his first base hit in this one. Well, he's a really good hitter. And when you drop below 280, people start having concerns. So that's a welcome hit. Maybe he'll rock it back up towards 300 like expected of him. Now batting. Here's Alcides Escobar, the shortstop. Alcides he's 0 for 2 Escobar. thus far in this one. Let's go, kid. Set to one deliver right on nothing here. in two. Here it comes. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And a rather easy first out. Now that's a gold glove caliber play there. Barehanded grabs might the be one of the baseman. best looking plays Number in nine. baseball. It not right only takes in. tremendous no. body control and focus, but the fielder also needs to have a quick and accurate release to make an out. A highlight real play there for sure. Ready for another shot so now. Jose Sanchez. 0 for 2 here to start Sanchez. the afternoon. 0 and 1. Here it comes. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be 2. To second for 1. Relay to first in time and just like. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Blair Jimenez comes into this at bat. 0 for 1 in the ball game. So there on the move. One out.
Digging in for his second at bat, Sergio Santos. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And he Santos. takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0 and 1. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's 1 and 1. And this is fouled back and out of play. Ready on 1 and 2. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here as we'll show you the league the ERA right leaders. And 10. as you can see there, he's really had it going into the month Brent of June, Cole. currently leading the AL in that department. Inside, looked like the knuckle curve. It's 2-0. and Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. There's the good fastball, and he can't catch up. Three and two. And then that's a pretty good example. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. So striding in, Luis Sardinius. He'll start Leading things out in their right. half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here Luis for a lineup that, Sardinia. quite frankly, has been non existent to date. No my. doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One Your hit through five please. innings. I mean, it's what else can you say about range. the pitching they face other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that Zero. continues we as we Pick approach the later go. inning. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Looking for his 10th strikeout. Here's the pitch. And another foul ball. Tell you what, his spot has been the outside pitch right there. And now we're late in the game. He continues to pound the outside pitch. And it's really working out for him. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Now Still batting. a lot of game Second left in this one. one. Corey Spangenberg Corey. is Spangenberg. in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. That's a big pitch right there. It could change the at-bat. When you're facing a good hitter like this, that first pitch, strike one, is so important as to who's going to control this at-bat. Right now, cut pitcher's hold, got the hold, advantage. The so he finds the hole into left to pick up his second base hit of the afternoon. And we take a look there at the team leaderboard in that category as his total is currently Manuel tops on the Margo. Padre Ball Club. Manuel Margot stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1-0. and And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. and Outside, 3-0 and now. Yeah, it looked like he was going to cruise through this inning. But now a hit, the 3-0 count have changed that. Got to get back in the strike zone right here. Well, he made a nice adjustment. That was a nice pitch right there, 3-0. Now puts the count 3-1. That was the same pitch he threw 2-0 and, oh and missed on it and got ball called. Full threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Your David Peralta play. is up off the Pinch bench. As he'll hey, it took him an extra frame to do it, but hey, they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in 10 innings. Our final line score this afternoon, first for the victorious Kansas City Royals. Four runs. A stellar performance earns a salute from this hurler's pitching coach. Both hope the command displayed tonight will carry over into future outings.